Hello and welcome back to the Study Abroad series. I am excited to bring you part 7 of the highly requested series on US student F1 visa interview questions and answers for 2023. If you missed the previous episodes, kindly find the links in the comment sections below. Let's get started. Today's video will provide you with critical insight on how to answer the following question, so make sure to watch till the end. Why don't you want to study in the UK or Canada? Why have you changed your major? How do you think this program will benefit you? What was the reason for the gap in your academic history? What is your plan if you run out of funds in the USA? Attention! The answers I will provide in this video are just for your guidance. You are advised to develop your own answers. Why don't you want to study in the UK or Canada? When answering this question, be clear and specific and avoid generalizing your reasons for not wanting to study in the UK or Canada. This may include personal or professional reasons or other factors that influenced your decision. Highlight your enthusiasm for studying in the United States. Explain how this decision fits with your long-term academic and career goals. Demonstrate that you have done some research on both the UK and Canada's education systems and explain why you think studying in the United States is a better fit for your academic and career goals. This will demonstrate that your decision is well-informed and not based on assumptions. Avoid criticizing the UK or Canada and instead focus on the positive aspects of studying in the United States, such as the quality of education, research opportunities, or unique cultural experiences. Sample answer. Although UK and Canada are excellent destinations for studying, I believe that the United States provides the best opportunities for me to achieve my long-term academic and career goals because of the unique academic programs, research opportunities, and cultural diversity it offers. I have researched extensively on universities in the United States, UK, and Canada and found that the United States is where there is currently a high level of ongoing research in my field of interest and it's the main reason I want to study there. Also, the United States has a diverse population that will expose me to new perspectives and cultures which is essential for my academic and professional life. Another way to answer this question is, while searching for schools in USA, UK, and Canada, I realized that studying in the United States will be the best fit for my academic and personal goals. I am particularly drawn to the United States for its cutting-edge research opportunities and the coursework designed for my intended program of study. These align perfectly with my academic interests and my future career goal as they will provide me with the necessary skills and knowledge required for me to be an expert in my field. Why have you changed your major? When answering this question, demonstrate how your previous major has led you to your new major and how your new major will build upon the skills and knowledge that you have gained in your previous studies. Explain how you have sought advice from academic advisors, professors, and professionals in your field to ensure that your new major is a good fit for your interests and career goals. Talk about any relevant experiences you have had in your new major, such as internships, research projects, or coursework, to show your passion and dedication to your new field of study. Discuss how you have adapted to change in the past, and how changing your major is just one example of your ability to adapt and succeed in new situations. Discuss your long-term goals and aspirations, and how your new major will help you achieve them. Sample answer. I am changing majors because I have developed a strong interest in the field of food and nutrition. While studying chemistry, I became increasingly interested in how the chemical properties of food can impact our health and well-being. Extensive research and advice from professionals in the field have convinced me that pursuing a master's degree in food and nutrition will better prepare me for my career goal of becoming a nutritional therapist. Moreover, my background in chemistry has provided me with a solid foundation in the scientific principles of food and nutrition, which will be invaluable in my future career. Another way to answer this question is, I am changing majors from mechanical engineering to business and analytics because I want to broaden my skill set and pursue a career in data analytics. The course you work designed for this program which includes business analytics modeling and data mining and machine learning will provide me with the necessary skills to work with data, extract valuable insights, and make data-driven decisions. By combining my engineering background with business and data analysis skills, I will be well positioned for future career opportunities in manufacturing and supply chain management. Hey there, if you've learned something helpful so far from this video, kindly take a few seconds to like the video and also subscribe to this channel. Your subscriptions will serve as a motivation for me to keep creating content like this so please subscribe. Thank you. Now, let's tackle the rest of the questions. How do you think this program will benefit you? When answering this question, 
Research the specific program you are applying for and highlight the unique skills and knowledge you will gain from it. Explain how the skills and knowledge gained from the program will enable you to pursue your desired career path and how this will benefit you and the community at large. Highlight any research projects opportunity that the program offers and explain how these opportunities will provide you with hands-on experience in your field and how this will enhance your job prospects after graduation. Demonstrate your commitment to the program and your willingness to work hard to succeed. Sample answer. Pursuing a PhD in environmental chemistry will provide me with the advanced knowledge and practical skills needed to conduct critical research on the degradation of organic pollutants in water bodies. The courses offered, such as environmental modeling and advanced organic chemistry, will equip me with the necessary skills and research experience required for me to achieve my future career goal. Ultimately, my goal is to become a senior lecturer and a professor in environmental chemistry where I will find sustainable and effective solutions to water pollution in Ghana, hence this program is a good fit for my career path. What was the reason for the gap in your academic history? The reason visa officers ask about gaps in academic history is to ensure that the applicant is committed to their studies and has a valid reason for any gaps. If you had a gap in your academic history, provide a detailed explanation as to why. This could be due to personal reasons, medical reasons, financial difficulty, or any other valid reason. Highlight any work or volunteer experience you had during this time and explain how these experiences will be essential to your studies in the U.S. Sample answer. I had to take a break from my studies due to some personal reasons. Specifically, I had to take care of my mother who was going through a challenging health situation. It was a difficult time for me and required my full attention, but I am grateful to have been able to be there for my loved one. During this period, I also took up a few freelance projects in my field of study to keep myself occupied and continue to develop my skills. I understand the importance of continuous learning, and I am confident that my academic gap has not affected my readiness to pursue a graduate degree. The gap allowed me to gain practical experience and become more equipped for the academic rigor of graduate studies. What is your plan if you run out of funds in the USA? The reason why the visa officers ask this question is to ensure that the applicants have the financial means to support themselves during their stay in the U.S. They want to be sure that applicants will not look for employment opportunities or become a burden on the U.S. economy. When answering this question, show proof of sufficient funds to assure the officer that you have enough funds to support yourself throughout your stay in the U.S.A. Do not accept the assumption that you will run out of funds while studying in the U.S. Also avoid mentioning any intentions of seeking employment opportunities whilst in the U.S., as this could lead to your visa denial. Finally, demonstrate that you have a good track record of financial management and you are confident that you can manage your finances responsibly even in difficult circumstances. Sample answer. The scholarship awarded to me by my department is more than enough to fully fund my education and living expenses during my stay in the USA. Hence, I doubt I will ever run out of funds. Another way to answer this question is, I have sufficient funds to support my education and living expenses during my stay in the USA. I have saved up for several years and have carefully planned my budget to ensure that it is more than enough to sustain myself throughout my studies. Hence, I am confident that I will never run out of funds while studying in the USA. The F-1 visa interview is a crucial step in the process of studying in the United States. By preparing well and being confident, applicants can increase their chances of success. If you want to catch the next episode of the Study Abroad series where I will be showing you how to answer other important questions, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button. In case you have any related questions that need to be addressed, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.